In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a first look at the welcome screen in new version number 16. When you launch PowerDirector 16, you have the option of selecting the video aspect ratio. You can go, use your high def or 16 by 9. You can go to the 4 by 3 or the 9 by 16. And then instead of what we found in version 15, which had a full feature editor, you simply can click the timeline mode, which takes you to the major editor, the storyboard mode, which takes you to the same editor, but in storyboard mode, which surprises me a little bit because most people, I think, like timeline better, and then the ever popular sli slideshow creator. You also have an option to do what's called auto mode, uh, where this allows you to import style and adjust and preview your finished movie. And then there is another option on the main screen about the 360 editor. If you want to just lock in your timeline mode in version 16, you simply click the box down here and this screen will go away and it will automatically default to timeline mode. When you launch PowerDirector 16, you'll come up with a familiar screen if you've used an earlier version of the program. It will give you some sample clips that you can see, and the basic layout of the screen is pretty much identical to anything you've seen before. One thing that's a, a, a bit of a change is there are several 360 degree projects, uh, and they are marked in the upper right corner with the 360. Now, if you want the sample clips to go away, if you're an experienced editor, the simple way to do that is click on the gear at the top and then click on the project option on the left side and then uncheck the second checkbox down which says automatically load sample clips when PowerDirector opens. That will take those sample clips out of the project for you. If you're a new editor you probably want to experiment with them but otherwise that's how to make them go away. And then we have the same kind of information. We have the, the, the uh, categories here, the media room, effects room, uh, our PIP uh, room, particles, our titles, uh, we have our transitions, we have audio mixing, and voiceover. And um, th so the basic screen look is the same. All the boxes on the top and the main menus over here are pretty much similar to what you are uh, familiar with if you've used PowerDirector in the past. So this is the start of uh, what you see. We're going to look under the hood in a little more detail in a future lesson as we begin to explore PowerDirector 16. Uh, my first impressions are uh, they've made some uh, minor improvements, but uh, I would not rush at this point in time if you're an owner of PowerDirector uh, 12 through 15 uh, to necessarily upgrade to 16. I haven't yet seen anything that seems to be revolutionary it's much more of an evolutionary upgrade uh, from my initial view. But we'll take a look at it in uh, the next couple of lessons. <music>